All right, all right, all right. We are back here at Song of the Day, coming to you from the Rock Cave. I'm your host, Mark Pierce. As usual, how are you doing today? It is Sunday. Hope you're all doing well. Supporting my IRS Records t-shirt. Remember that story? We talked about that when we talked about the police. IRS Records founded by Miles Copeland III with some other guys, but his he was the son of a CIA agent, Miles Copeland Jr. His other brother, I'm sorry, his brother, Ian, was the head of a talent agency, Frontier Booking International. See where I'm going with this, the FBI. And then his other brother, Stuart Copeland, was in a band called The Police. See what I'm doing here? And he was the manager of the police. So we had the CIA, the FBI, the IRS, and the police all rolled into one. Uh, anyway, what have we got going on on this date? Uh, let's do a little history for on what happened on this date. In 1964, the Beach Boys put on their first performance on the Ed Sullivan Show. They played I Get Around and Wendy. Fast forward all the way to 1986, Cliff Burton, the bass player for Metallica, is killed in their tour bus accident. The story says that they drew cards to see who would get the most comfortable seat on the bus. He drew the Ace of Spades and won the most comfortable seat. And he did not win. Uh, two birthdays today. Meatloaf is 73. I'd be doing Meatloaf today, but we've, we covered him for Bad Out of Hell, and we probably will cover him again. But uh, I do love me some Meatloaf. Good stuff. And then Sean Cassidy, to do run run, is... 62 years old oh my gosh puppy love anyway what a week it's been right today sunday like i said we had green day foreigner the motels a tribe called quest and rocky horror picture show pretty good coverage for the week a little bit of everything for everybody right well today we're going back to 1982 yesterday's date in 82 when this band released their Third studio album. It's a big record for me because it was the first of two huge new wave records that I bought. The very first ones that I ever bought. And that is the Psychedelic Furs released forever now on this date in 1982. This is a huge record for me uh, because this, again, while I was listening to MTV, the first two full albums that I bought considered new wave were this, Psychedelic Furs, and Berlin's Pleasure Victim. Those were the first two albums that I fell in love with as far as whole albums are concerned. This is a big record for them. They, uh, they, were, uh, they were six members in this band for their first two, album, two albums, and then uh, they pared down to four. Changed their style, added some different instru instruments, changed their producer, brought in Todd, the famous Todd Rundgren, um, to... Uh, to be their producer he actually performed on some of their songs um they did a lot of different stuff they're an english band they recorded this one in new york city um and this had tons of good songs on it i don't know if there's any fans out there i'm a huge fan of psychedelic furs but this has president gas on it great song love my way obviously their most popular song that was a top 50 hit but there's a lot of other great songs on this if you like this kind of music run and run Sleep Comes Down was always a favorite of mine. Forever Now, Goodbye, No Easy Street. These are all great songs uh, from the Psychedelic Furs. And I just love this band. So I'm excited to present them today. Um, the interesting part about uh, Love My Way is we were talking about that. Ton Rugren does play the marimba on that song. And he brought in Flo and Eddie, famous background singers backup singers uh, they were two founders of the band the turtles and they got very famous working uh, as backup singers for the like of t-rex steely dan alice cooper springsteen blondie duran duran i mean they worked for all kinds of people but they are singing backup vocals uh, on this record in particular love my way 
Uh, anyway, that's like their biggest hit right there. So I'm excited for that. I have seen them in concert twice. The first time I saw them in concert was around 1986 at Yukon. I saw them at Jorgensen, got myself a sweet t-shirt. Love this t-shirt. I have a great picture of me at the beach in this shirt. We'll post it up right about now. Love that shirt. My only pet peeve about that shirt is I'm pretty sure it didn't say psychedelic furs anywhere on it if that my memory serves correctly, but that has a great picture of the lead singer on the front. Fast forward, I got to see them maybe four or five years ago, four years ago, three, four years ago, at uh, Infinity Hall in Hartford. We were right up in the front row, and that was pretty awesome. It was a great show. Anyway, uh, that, that's your song of the day. We're going to do Love My Way. I mean, we got to do that one, right? Maybe I'll put a couple of words on, under there, because that's what I do. But Love My Way, it's a great song. What's not to like, right? Love My Way, Psychedelic Furs. That's your song of the day. Oh, hey, and we got lots of stickers. What do we got here? Um, we got a couple different kinds. We got lots of stickers here. So if you guys are interested in me sending you a sticker, shoot me a message. I'll mail, I'll mail, I'll mail, I'll mail you some stickers. Let me know. All right. Have a great Sunday. We got lots of good stuff coming up next week. I'm excited again for next week. Uh, enjoy your day. And as usual, I'll catch you on the flip side.